I'm here to speak on behalf of uh, John Peachy, a lung cancer survivor, as I mentioned before, who was at our November 7th reception. Um, John asked that I share his story as he couldn't attend today. He was uh, diagnosed with stage four non-small cell lung carcinoma in the fall of 2013. When he found out that he had cancer, it had already metastasized to his brain, bones, and his liver. He was a non-smoker, non-jinker, and though he was doing the right thing in terms of being healthy for his whole life, he still found out that he had stage four lung cancer. He was 53 years old. When John found out, he was shocked and overwhelmed with sadness by the news. He thought he had months left to live, and he worried about his wife, Kim, his two children, and how they would cope with losing their father. In his words, however, John was very lucky with his pain. After his first radiation treatments to his lower back and right hip, he was prescribed Tylenol 3s, and he took the maximum dose allowed. Until 2019, his pain management consisted of Tylenol 3s and extra strength Tylenol when needed. As John said, he was lucky. For six years, that's all he had to do for pain. But at the start of 2019, John got approval to try a new tumor agnostic therapy, one that would work, but unfortunately uh, he found out that there was a time period between stopping chemo and when he'd be able to start the new medication. In this time period, his right hip pain from cancer became worse. He had radiation as treatment, but still it only got worse. When his pain got that bad, his Tylenol 3s also stopped working. And in mid-March 2019, he was prescribed hydromorphone, or morphine. When the pain was going away, he contacted his oncologist, and they cut back the medication. And overall, he was on it for two and a half months. He went off in the end of May 2019. The dose at its highest was three milligrams twice a day, and he only took it for two and a half months, as said. However, in this short time period, and with a low dose, he still developed a dependency, and he only felt that once cutting back. The dose at its highest was three milligrams twice a day, I said, very low. John experienced some real nightmares, sweating, anxiety, and extreme agitation as a result of this short period of being on the medication. And in his words, it actually scared the heck out of me. Unfortunately, he had no expectation for the level of side effects that he was going to experience. Still, in this, John was one of the fortunate ones. His wife, Kim, who is also his caregiver, is a nurse. Knowing how addictive hydromorphone is, they would sit down together and they'd discuss these side effects. And she would also keep watch over him while he was coming off and the experiences that he went through in terms of the different side effects there. To John, his pain medication was necessary. And he feels that he's been lucky in a couple of ways that others might not be, not only with this pain, but with the support system around him. Many people don't have that and many people don't expect the side effects he might have even with such a short stint on a pain medication. To this day, his pain is luckily minimal and he only takes extra strength Tylenol, but he always remembers that experience he went through. Luckily, in, uh, in uh, opposition to his original expectations, he's been able to see his daughter graduate from university, he's been able to see his son get married, and he's been able to see the birth of his grandson, who's also been named John. He's granting his strength, and over the last eight months, he's been slowly getting his life back, and he writes that he's able to enjoy his family and friends. And with this, I think uh, what he wanted to get across was he had his troubles, and uh, he went through a lot, and a short period with heavy opioid use, or not heavy opioid use, but with opioid use, caused him to have side effects that he didn't necessarily expect. And I think the important thing there is uh, the support network. And I thank you all for listening. It's a, it's a short story, but I'm glad we were able to tell it today. So thank you all.